this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer Support. Uh, today I'd like to show you a quick tip video of modeling an assembly from the top down. So there's two kind of approaches to creating an assembly. One, you can build all of your parts and then uh, put your assembly together and make them in place. That's called bottom up. The other method is top down. Um, where you have your assembly file and then you start building the parts inside of the assembly and that's what we're going to look at here right now. So right now I just have a real basic assembly here, just a simple box with a hole in it, just a, a shelled out box. In this example we're going to create a little lid that goes over the top of this box. So first step of in context or top down uh, modeling is you come here and you click uh, new part so we are actually creating a new part and we're gonna place that here in our assembly so I'm gonna place it here on the top edge of my box and as soon as I do that several things happen one you can first see the part goes transparent here over here in my assembly tree I get a new part that's called here and I get a new part tree this is blue also indicating that I am editing this part so I'm in a sketch and I'm going to make uh, my initial sketch here so I'm going to convert these entity these edges out here for use and then I'm going to do an offset of that an inch that's good so now I have a sketch here and I'm just going to extrude that down about an inch that's good so now I've got a feature here in my part this boss extrude feature and now I'm going to create another feature um, so creating a sketch there again I'm going to convert these edges okay and now I'm going to extrude that up about an inch so it's just kind of real basic um, features that I've made but you can see I have these two features you can kind of get an idea that this is a lid going on here. I'm going to exit the edit part mode so this part's blue meaning I'm editing the part. I'm going to exit that by clicking this button. So now I'm back in my regular assembly mode. Both parts are just your regular black. Um, so now the question is what is this item? So you think it's our lid that we created so let's take a look at that. I'm going to come here and say open my part. It's zoomed in pretty far. So this is my lid that I created and you can see it does have this little lip down here and then the top extrusion up there. So that is the actual lid that I built and you can see that here in my assembly if I just section this you can see that there's our regular box down here and then the lid up the top. So that's pretty cool uh, that you can design items inside of the top level assembly. There are several things that you do want to think about. Um, that I'm just going to mention pretty quick. First, this part that we created is in brackets. The name of the part is in brackets. That's indicating that this is a virtual part. Another thing is we have an arrow here and that indicates that we created external references to this um, to this part. That means that this feature is relying on other features outside of the part and that happens because this feature is relying on the edges of our box of this box part so to in order to create this part successfully we are going to have to access that part so this has just been a real quick example of top-down assembly modeling I hope that you found it useful thanks mm -hmm.